It was at the beginning of the Cold War, right after World War II, when the United States and the Soviet Union, the world's strongest nations, the superpowers, had conflicting ideas about economics and government. But one thing they could agree upon <laughs> was this spirit-forward, sweet evening cocktail, the Black Russian. It was back in 1949 when Pearl Mesta, the American ambassador to Luxembourg, uh, was often seen making her rounds and hanging out at the luxury hotel Metropole in Brussels, Belgium. Now Pearl was a socialite. She used to have these swanky parties and, and was known as the hostess with the mostess, entertaining the celebrities of the Washington DC society. A lot of artists, entertainers, and many high-profile political figures would often attend her social gatherings. There's even rumor that President Harry Truman played the piano at one of her parties while General Dwight Eisenhower supposedly sang that popular old song, Drink to me only with thine eyes, at another. <laughs> yeah, Pearl got around all right. She even made an appearance as a mystery guest on that television game show, What's My Line? and appeared on the March 14, 1949 cover of Time magazine. She was even the inspiration for Irving Berlin's musical Call Me Madam, which starred Ethel Merman as a character based on Pearl Mesta in both the Broadway play and the movie. Okay, back to the Hotel Metropole. Built in around 1890, this place had a richness of decor and was known for its high quality service and is still operating today. That's impressive. Now, I think Pearl must have made an impression on a gentleman by the name of Gustav Topps back in 1949. You see, he was the bartender working at the hotel back then and decided to create a signature cocktail for Pearl. The Cold War was just starting, so it seemed appropriate to mix Russian vodka with Kahlua. East meets West? I don't know. <laughs> oh, heck. Gustav Topps came up with an alluring dark blend of spirits that has become a classic and called it a Black Russian. Yeah, let's make one. You know, in the bar today, I still make a lot of Black Russians. And normally we just build them, send them out, boom, done. Because you got 20 other drinks waiting to be made. Uh, but we're going to do it a little different today. We're going to do it the right way. First, we've got to get a, got to get a black, don't we? Introduced in 1936, Kahlua is a coffee-flavored liqueur containing rum, sugar, vanilla bean, and Arabica coffee. At 20% alcohol by volume, or 40 proof, it takes seven years to produce a bottle of Kahlua. It has a dark coffee color with a sweet, fresh brewed coffee aroma. With its thick body, Kahlua is crafted from the finest ingredients grown in rural Veracruz, Mexico. The actual word Kahlua has ties to ancient Arabic languages and is said to be slang for coffee. Yeah, street lingo back in the 1930s. <laughs> oh, I like that sound, eh? Yeah. Uh, one ounce. Now we've got to make it Russian. I've got the Russian standard, standard gold that is. Russian standard gold label is a vodka that has a beautiful embossed bottle and a real rose gold foiled label. It's a nuanced and unique spirit loaded with vanilla, a hint of ginseng, spice notes, and extracts of Siberian golden root, creating a distinctively rich and exceptionally smooth spirit. At 40% alcohol by volume, or 80 proof, Russian Standard Gold label is perfectly balanced with a seductive sweet body. Yet it's still a hearty vodka with a big finish. Russian Standard Gold embodies the vibrant spirit of Russian generosity and gift giving. Yeah. Two ounces of Russian vodka. Yeah. Add some ice. Just gently stir it up. 
Oh yeah. Then fill a rock glass with fresh ice. And all we want to do now is just strain it out. Oh yeah. Sweet. Now you know in the bar, we sometimes just throw a cherry in and call it a day. But you know, I think this drink deserves a lot more. If you even wanted to garnish it. I got a couple of Luxardo cherries. Yeah, that's beautiful. With so many variations, the most popular younger brother to the Black Russian is the White Russian. Born in 1955, according to Kahlua.com, the White Russian was invented in Oakland, California. It became really popular in the 1970s and into the 80s, and was immortalized in the 1998 movie The Big Lebowski. Jeff Bridges knocks back eight of them in the movie, and then drops to the floor on his ninth. This drink really ties the room together. Other variations include the Long Black Russian, or Tall Black Russian, which is served in a highball and adds cola to a Black Russian. It also goes by the name of a Dirty Russian. Sometimes, too, a Dirty Russian is made with chocolate milk instead of cream. The Brown Russian is served in a highball glass and topped with ginger ale. The Irish Black Russian is a Black Russian with cola and topped off with a Guinness head. The California Russian is served with a shot of triple sec and a slice of orange. The Black Magic, oh my god, these things go on and on, don't they? The Black Magic is a Black Russian with a dash of lemon juice and a lemon twist garnish. The Mind Eraser, ooh. It's a Black Russian topped with club soda. The British Bulldog adds butterscotch schnapps to White Russian. Oh, oh yeah. Do you know how long it's been since I've actually enjoyed a Black Russian? I think it's sometime in the 80s I stopped drinking them, but I might just drink them again. It's smooth, it's spirit forward, it's delicious. So, once you put in your Russian vodka <laughs> and your Kahlua, you've got yourself one fine drink. Cheers. In Russia, drink makes you. So I'm not gonna make a drink. I'm just gonna wait. <laughs> drink makes you in Russia. <laughs> <laughs> make an authentic black Russian. You know all those variations we made? Well, I didn't really care for them too much. <laughs> make the real thing, and while you're at it, hit the subscribe button. You won't be sorry. We got lots of shows coming your way. Cheers. Mm -mm. It's Russian good. <laughs>